Someone help! In this section of the course, we're going to talk about bleeding. We're not talking about minor bleeding or grazing, we're talking about severe bleeding. Severe bleeding is arterial bleeding. We can recognise arterial bleeding by spurting blood. That's being pumped directly through the arteries by the heart's pump pumping action. Now, if someone cuts themselves severely or, um, and they start to bleed, what we need to do is act immediately and call for an ambulance, put direct pressure on that site, and could reduce the person from going into shock. Ben, it's all right, mate. Mate, just relax. I'm, put your arm, hold your arm, hold your arm, put pressure on it. Drop, drop the knife down. Put pressure on your arm. I'm going to get some gloves, mate, and first aid kit. Keep your arm up, mate. Hold pressure on it. What we need to do now is quickly get our protective equipment on and wear, wear our gloves before we're doing it. It's all right, Ben. I'm just going to put my gloves on, mate. Just relax. How'd you do this, mate? What happened? Oh, I just I slipped with the knife. Yeah? On the box of you're doing them. Yeah, I reckon it's got me across the wrist. All right, mate. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty. Bill, can you call an ambulance for us, mate? Triple zero for an ambulance. Tell them someone's got an arterial bleed. That's right, mate. We're just going to grab a gauze on it. Just keep pressure. That's really good. Really, really good, mate. Okay, we just racked it on there. Okay. Now, hold it again. Hold it tight. Good, eh? Put a gauze on. Then we'll get a bandage and put it around very firmly around the site. Really important. Okay, this should stop the bleeding as much as we possibly can, mate. It's going to be on very, very tight. All right, I'm going to roll this all the way around as much as I can around your arm and around the side of the bleeding, all right? Okay, just relax. How are you feeling, mate, all right? Yeah, a bit funny. A bit funny, yeah. We'll get you sitting down in a minute, okay? All right, listen, we'll tuck that in there. Sorry, I'm taking a bit of a while, but this is normal. Your, your hand might go a little bit numb, but... Okay. Just can you put a bit of pressure on there for me, mate, while I put these things on? Okay, I'll just try and keep away from that blood as much as I can. You've lost a fair bit there. It's all right. The ambulance is on, mate. We've got to get you to hospital because you've got um, an artery bleed, okay? You've cut one of your arteries, so just try and relax. All right, come on, come and sit over here. Come and sit down. All right. Listen, listen, just lie back on Joe's overalls there, mate. Just lie back, lie back. Put your legs up, put your legs up here. Put your legs up. Ambulance is on its way, mate. Oh, thanks, Matt. Cheers, yeah. mate. Ben, just relax, mate. Put your head down and relax. Yeah, just put on Joe's overalls there, mate. Now, yeah, I know you will. Just try and relax as much as you can. Take slow, deep breaths for us. We've stopped the bleeding, all right? That's the important thing. I know you're in a bit of pain, but just slow your breathing as much as you can. That's excellent. All right, mate. Just relax. If a casualty has a penetrating object in them, it's important not to remove the object and do not place a bandage or pressure pad over that object. Build some padding around the object to reduce the bleeding and then support that padding with a roller bandage or a triangular bandage. The treatment for nosebleed is to pinch the casualty's nose at the nostrils, lean them forward so they can breathe through their mouth. Maintain this pressure for at least 10 minutes with the head forward or until the bleeding has stopped. Apply a cool compress to the nose, neck and forehead. Advise the casualty not to blow or pick their nose if bleeding persists, obtain medical advice.